and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less equipment, niche builds, less character classes, less hit points and of course stronger enemies with a better advent and a better chosen. Time for Operation Hammer Stank where I have finally decided to go and counter Barrier. We definitely don't want enemy tech scores to be doubled, that'll make our hacking attempts much much more difficult to go through, plus we wanted to see the Chrysalid Queen on top of a Mutant Prime, so what could possibly go wrong when we are going in like that? We got Secundus here, we got Sandman, Toxic, Zirkim, Sukuger, and the only step in is the newcomer, Cabanaro. Um, and do we really need an EMP grenade? That's a good question. Anything that is susceptible to it? Well, that Elite Shield Bearer, yes. Heavy Ant Anti Riot Mech, yes. Mutant Prime. Well, that Mech and the Shield Bearer are two potential targets. As I mentioned a couple of times, EMP grenades remove the shields from the Shield Bearer, so it's not the worst option to use it. Not the best either but it is okay. Sandman has the, uh, the additional restelt if needed, but that costs 100 supplies, so we want to use it sparingly. Uh, the maximum amount of cover removal as possible, and yeah, Sirkim in the front line, so should be good. And if we play our cards right, uh, we're not even going to run into the Chosen. It's labeled difficult, it could mean the Chosen kind of shows up, could mean that it doesn't show up, we're going to see. Okay, so we gotta invade a train. That in itself should not be a problem. The biggest problem, I think, Our comes from the now. alien um, or Chrysalid Queen, rather. We got a wrecker, and I think those were the ones with the extra frag grenade. Yep, and with the bigger guns, the wrecking gun. Okay, cool. That's pretty damn good. Got some high ground over here. Gotta fight all the way over there. Sounds like a good plan. Zirkim moves Move up. I have eyes on the enemy. And finds an enemy team right there. Okay, we'll just leave it as this for now. Wrecker moves over, should not trigger. I will go. You can never escape my sight. Good, we're moving in. Toxic. Eh, we don't want to do that. What's over there? And over. Recibido. Carabinado moves in. Let's do this. And let's use scanning protocol just to make sure there is no one around. But those. Three guys there, no one in there, no one on the other side either. Okay. Roger that. Standing fast. Standing fast. Apparently we've already been spotted out. Okay. A nice hit. Hard target, minimal damage. Well, that would be awkward to hit our own to hit our own scout. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because that would um, hit the purifier. 
Well, you know, what we can do is we can put that place that there. The wrecker likely is going to explode that and with it uh, removes the cover. The other option is to hit this, but that won't no, that won't explode it. Should have placed the grenade a bit closer. Now, and we don't need to use all of our cover removal right away. Let's be prudent. Wait, wait, wait. Eight points. Oh, that was not enough. <sighs> Gotta love it when a plan works. Hashtag not. All right. So much for being prudent. We're using our first grenade. At the same time, I would like to advance. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Because we need to advance. Always try to move if you can. And this should deal a lot of damage. Maybe even kill the Andromedon. It takes explosion damage 6, plus 7 from the grenade, plus 5 almost down yeah moving slightly up without pulling something overdrive is prudent here we have a very high hit point team to go through. Shield bearer takes a hit and dies. Andromedon takes a hit and dies. protocol onto Secundus and afterwards I think we're just going to Haywire. Try not to break this. Can we take over the suit? 50-50 is it necessary though? I think it's not necessary. And I was right. And the reason why it is not necessary is because we easily can kill it next turn. There is no need to go that hard. Specifically if we can remove even more cover. Oh, hello. Well, that's an interesting one. See, and we're absolutely fine right here. Very good. Good, moving up all the way to here. And we're going to soften up the shell. If you say so. Shell is almost down. Does Cabanero already have death from above? He does not. the loot because that's potentially an Alarium core. 
Yes, there we go. Fantastic. That's another heavy weapon. Good. Very good. All right, moving up. Carabinado moves up as well. Well, I can tell you who's going to explode next turn. It's definitely them. I'm on it. I see everything. If we hit that well, all three of them will take damage and maybe the tower might even collapse. A delicate placement. Just out of curiosity, rocket launcher would hit it all. So Getting just a bit closer without triggering. Yeah, I think that should kill the tower as well. Alright, all of them take falling damage on top of it, so we're looking at what? Oh, and he even starts to burn. Alright, the guy just killed himself. Oh, come on. I clicked only once. It was lagging. I clicked again. The game still apparently was trying to process just the amount of destruction and mayhem. Good. Perfect timing for run and gun. Moving up. And there we go. Good, that pack died within essentially two, uh, two attacks. Still can't hit that thing. Look at that uh, mutant something and an archon. Oak says I am to obey. The objective is inside, Commander. Okay, and the chrysalid queen is also there. But we don't want to annoy her yet. I think we need some solid positioning, maybe over here. That way we do have the right hand side. And the wrecker overwatches. Moving to Overwatch. Yep, just when we needed another faceless one. They appeared out of thin air. Hello there.
And we triggered another pack. Okay, so... That's a mutant prime. What a nasty beast. Uh, we do have lightning reflexes. So this should take uh, the overwatch away. Ready to engage. At the same time, we also need to hit this guy. Proximity mine two, four, six, eight, nine. That will not, barely not kill. Good, face this one. Takes a good old beating, 11 points and burning. Unfortunately, his regeneration triggers before the burning effect will take effect. It's really unfortunate. But how do we solve that puzzle here? Can't really do much. I don't want to trigger the uh, the queen. Good. Trying to remove as much cover as possible. Furthermore, him working over. Suppression might be an option against the mutant. Really heavy hits could be an option as well. Unfortunately, our sniper is is a bit meh, not really that good. All right, Comet Protocol to finish this guy off. Okay, cool, good. Potentially moved in first and then concealed. Doesn't matter now. Okay. Not the best position, but still okay. In terms of crit. Not great, but okay. Oh, we got a good option here. Moving over. Four is not good enough. Let's try to hit him. Okay, he might shoot back. Sort of figured that that would be a thing.
Let's kill that mutant. Good, so much for the prime. We're still hidden, and uh, that's actually an advantage. I want to keep that for next round. So, 8 protocol. Going to give that away in a second. Moving up here. Eight protocol first. Up here to Secundus. And then secondly, since there are no real good targets for combat protocol, might as well use it here and for, uh, and keep the charge on our bold caster. That way we keep momentum for next round. This will allow us to kill both next turn. The moment that they are moving, they are going to be dead. I am at your service. I'm sure why he did not take damage, he should. He was very much in range. Moving up. 50 50, that's not good enough. Slowly but surely shredding this guy. Set the target to hack. I'm ready. Marking. Miss the target. List of attacker. Cabionero reloads, takes shot, and maybe kills this guy. Well, sometimes 70% is no no bueno. Heading out. Moving up. 100%. Would have loved to keep that crit chance. I think we're okay. Good. Overwatch, Overwatch. Is that not seeing our hacking target? Alright, sometimes I I question the line of sight. I'm trusting you here. But we're moving as close as possible to our location because we're only fighting against one melee opponent. Ready to 
I'm making sure that we're definitely having the best odds to hit. Orders confirmed. Moving out. On Overwatch. I won't let them pass. Good. We're taking high ground. Hopefully with uh, some overload next turn. Affirmative. Covering now. Todo cubierto. Get in position. All set. Good. Hacking the chest. Come on. Enemy protocol. Delays. Dark event projects by two weeks. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Buys us more time. That is an absolute monster reward. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Miracle. Affirmative. Go, go, go! Orders confirmed on the move. Good. We're taking the high ground and we're slowly but surely going to reel that alien queen in. Maintaining position. So much for slowly. That's a nice hit. Immediate shredding. Let's see what the queen can do. I'm not sure if the king or the queen is the stronger one. Will of the swarm. Alright. Sounds like a pretty strong ability. That's a hit. Chrysalids? What? More chrysalids? Alright, run and gun. Already there. And for whatever reason, he first jumps down, then starts to move up, then runs around that box. All the way to her, just to mark her. Is she actually spawning those things on impact? Ooh, that's a nasty ability. Hundred percent hit. We're being revealed. I tell you what, if you encounter her kind of in the open without being really prepared for it, that ability might be quite bad to be honest. Fifty fifty. Didn't work as expected. Sixty percent dodged. I would love to take combat protocol, but I don't want to take any chances here, so teamwork it is. I think that should be it, right? Alright. 
a random face this one this campaign would be so fantastic for mimic beacons unbelievable valuable Like we, I, I think we probably have like 10 or 12 faceless corpses by now. That would be three sets of mimic beacons. Well, Calabinero still needs to aim a bit more in order to feed kills to him. Let's give him the dead eye. There you go. Status Good job. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. In position. Okay, not as bad as I thought since the warlock wasn't showing up. Still uh, quite beefy uh, opposition from time to time. Very good. Our friend from the resistance is becoming one of our So, Toxic is slightly injured. And we got a few tired soldiers. That is unfortunate. Superior Outloader, fantastic. Ilarium Core, fantastic. Hair Trigger, not bad either. Hello, Commander. And we countered a nasty, nasty dark event. Proving Grounds. Let's choose a project. I think we want experimental... Uh, powered weapons, so a hundred uh, a hundred supplies. Yeah, we're going to wait four days. That's fine. I wanted to invade one of the facilities. Unfortunately, now we're going to be forced to wait a few more days. I don't want to take tired soldiers onto a trip with us. So nine days it is. I don't like the fact that we're chasing another set of coordinates into the middle of nowhere. Done it before and we didn't like oh, it's what okay. we found then either. We're okay with the Avatar project. Let's get some assorted loot. That could be anything one. from a PCS to a great weapon modification. Maybe even a grenade. Or some really good ammunition. Soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert and action. that is not bad we have fully infiltrated the stronghold which means that will be our next uh, our next mission in terms of in terms of options here will mobility hacking hacking health health is not bad plus it's another skirmisher that would join us that's really not bad. Aim plus four is okay as well. Mobility plus one. Oh, we're going to take that one. Ah, soldier captured high. But we can't put any two soldiers here. We can put any two soldiers here, but Mental Fortitude is a fantastic. A fantastic order. We're definitely going for that and we're taking We're taking hats here And we're taking Victor Sorry guys, there is a high chance that you're getting wounded and or captured but that order is definitely worth it we will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. And in the meantime, I think our prime team is now ready to face the Chosen. We wanted to do that anyways. Look at them sitting here already and uh, wanting to go. So let's go for the Chosen first. And then eventually, um, either when the second team recovers or when the prime team is just in such a good shape because we're flawlessing it we might as well go for the archon king next that way we're uh, we have uh, we would have eliminated all of the major threats and then it is um, down the golden path 
I think we still need to do the black side mission. Haven't done that. It's it's a bit weird to have all of um, the equipment available and then go for the black side mission. But whatever, that could be a nice little fun run for the C team just to see how well they are doing. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Quicker one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, leave a like and a comment down below. That helps the YouTube algorithm uh, give the channel some love if you can. And see you in two days. Bye-bye.